Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Psychic View here. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to make your uh, logo just for you, just like this. Um, well, you could make your own, it your own by changing the defined text and stuff. Well, to get started, go to File, New, or you could just click Control N. It's kind of slow. Uh, you want to change the uh, whatever it is to pixels and I'm going to put it to 88 by 88 um, this is the custom file for a YouTube logo uh, so I'm going to make my background transparent now click OK <coughs> as you could see you got this plain transparent space I'm just going to zoom into that a bit. Um, now, uh, to get started, click on the uh, select the Eclipse Marquee O tool. If you uh, if you draw like this, you will not get a perfect circle. So all you have to do is click press Shift and just drag it. You'll get a perfect circle yeah and that should be fine yeah now what you want to do is go to gradient uh, click on the gradient options double click one of them and if you're like selecting red first select the dark one if you're selecting blue select the dark one first so I'm going to be selecting green, so I'm going to select the first the dark one. <laughs> now click OK. Now right click the other one and this one put to a light one. Now just set it to like this. Um, Make sure the area of the dark one is larger. Now click OK. And just draw a line straight to bottom. And you'll get something like this. Just select and deselect or control D. Now you, you it looks kind of off, but if you uh, put it to its actual size here, hold on. You see it looks like a perfect circle. Yeah, there. Now, now what you want to do is select the uh, clip my key tool again and just draw another oval. Oh yeah, make sure it's on a new layer. Just click this button and move it to about this top. Now, set white of your foreground color click in the gradient tool double click it and select the second one uh, white transparent now click ok and just draw a line again now select and deselect now if you zoom out um, you could see you get this glossy effect on top it's like light shining on it now what you want to do is select to go to a new layer click the text and just shift s t v going to increase the size i'm going to change it to a bold you could actually put it to whatever you want I'm just going to make sure t your text is uh, right on bottom of it and I'm going to change the font to around uh, and now I'm just going to click somewhere else and I got this bold text here uh, I lined it to the middle if you want the uh, hold on I got this here now I'm just going to zoom out to see what I got As you could see, the text doesn't look that good, so I'm going to right click it, go to blending option. And please don't copy exactly what I do, get some new idea of your own.
Uh, I'm going to put a drop shadow. Uh, barely in buff. And the glow, outer glow in that. Uh, that, uh, that, no, that. Um, I'm going to not put a stroke. And get it overlay. Now I'm going to go to outer glow. Put it around black. Click OK, inner glow. Put that to black. OK. Um. Yeah, now it looks kind of like that. I'm going to emboss. And I'm just going to put that around there and soften it. it. I'm going to probably, yeah, I'm going to put a calendar on it. Sign in. Distance. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to click the up arrow you know, to make it look more neater. Now go to the <coughs> bottom layer, the circle, this, and click it. I'm just going to double click it to get the blending options and stroke. As you could see, that's a little too big, so I'm going to lower that. Yeah. I'm going to put the color to that. Click OK. And uh, now, click OK. Now I'm going to right click and flatten the image. Wait, I'm, I'm going to come to Alt C to get this. I'm going to merge the layers to get a transparent background. Merge layers. And right click, drag the new layer to the bottom. And I'm just going to give it a black background. They can both and black now that doesn't look that good so I'm going to right click it go to blending options barely buff and counter I'm going to change that soften a bit five yeah and to counter Yeah, that looks pretty good. Click OK. And as you could see, I'm going to flatten it again. And now you got a good logo. If you want, you don't have to give it a back around to it. I just put it to make it more good. So thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. And see you next time.